Today we're doing our rotational symmetry projects. Again, rotational symmetry means it goes around and it rotates around. Uh, we're also going to use reflection symmetry. So those of you who have been here before, you might remember some projects we've done in the past with reflection symmetry. We've done these collages that you can see it's flipped, it's reflection symmetry. Another way we think of symmetry is if you put your hands together and you open them up, that's reflection symmetry. My thumbs are on opposite sides. Something you did way back in kindergarten or first grade, those of you that were here, were the mittens. That's symmetrical, it's the same on both sides. What we're going to do is we're going to create a pattern, and we did pattern earlier in the year when you did your lifeline designs, but we're, we're, we're going to talk about rhythm. So when we, put a, when we do a pattern and we put it together in maybe a different ways, so you can see this isn't exactly the same, but it has the same elements that repeat over and over. We create a rhythm, and that's what happens here when we do our reflection and our rotational symmetry is we are creating a pattern. As you can see, the inside is made from a CD. That's just to add interest, to make it more interest. You can see how the light kind of glances off of there. But then we're gonna extend the pattern out here. So you're first gonna choose a color paper, and I am going to have you use a color scheme for your final design. So think about what kind of paper you want. The first thing we're gonna do is make a square. You've done this before. You've done this when we make snowflakes, you take your corner and you take it and you want to line up this edge with the far edge over here. I'm going to line it up and then I'm going to cut this here. That's going to make my square. So once again, I take the corner and I just fold it all the way over here to this side. Make sure the corners line up. And then I'm going to cut it out. I'm going to fold it again and how many pieces is this going to be when I open it up? I have one, two, three, four. I also think, what kind of angle is this? Do you know how many degrees that angle would be? Okay, that would be 45 degrees. Now I'm going to make, if that was my, say that was my multiplication sign, I'm going to make a plus sign. I'm going to fold it in half one way and line it up. Fold it in half the other way. And I want you to hold up your fingers for how many sections I have now. I'll give you hints. Under 10. So you have enough fingers. How many different sections? You have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You have eight. And your angle right here that you just folded is what kind of angle? It's a 90 degree angle. Put your line up your tracer piece the way it goes. So find where it fits find how it lines up. You might have to flip it around a couple times. You're going to see which way it goes. Just line it up with one section. Put your CD in the middle because our design isn't going to, it will be covered up by the CD. And then you can just draw your circle. This will also help us line it up at the end. And I would just, instead of just cutting it off, I would just, I'm going to draw an arrow. That way I know I'm pointing to the middle. This is the middle. This piece is going to rotate around every other section. That's the rotational, rotational symmetry. And then I'm going to show you how we're going to flip it to get the reflection symmetry. So you can decide how complicated or how simple you want this to be. This has lots of lines and shapes. I'll let you decide how easy or how complicated you want it to be. You can use a ruler. If you use a ruler, make sure you hold it with two fingers here. Put my pencil along the side and draw a line. You don't have to do this. This is just if you want to add lines to yours, that's one way to do it. You can also add some shapes. If you want to do a more complex one, you might want to think, what shape will it make on the edges where it reflects? So here I did a half circle, and then when I flipped it, of course it made a whole circle. Here again, it was like a half diamond. When I flipped it, it made a whole diamond. So I'm just going to show you just for fun. I'm going to do um, half a heart, just so we can see what this looks like. Now I'm going to take it, turn my paper over. There are two kinds of pencils. Make sure you use a black, this black pencil here, because that'll get more lead on it. You're going to hold the pencil on the side, and basically what you're doing is you're making your own tracing. Don't worry about if it gets on the table. It wipes right off. We're not going to be concerned about that. There. Now I'm going to line it up. Make sure it lines up. Does this line up? 
No, so that's the wrong section. You have to really be thinking and making sure you're in the right section. I want the arrow pointing up. I want my edges to line up. Now I can trace my design. I really ought to do this with a ruler, but since I want to do it pretty quickly here, I'm just going to do without. But if I was going to do straight lines, I would even trace them with the ruler. I want to show you how this looks. So there, I can see my design. At least enough. And then I'm going to skip a section because, and how I know is, does it fit? No, it doesn't fit, so I have to skip. Make sure it lines up with the middle. Make sure the sides line up. And I'm going to take one of your permanent markers. And if you do this, put a scrap paper underneath so the marker doesn't go onto the table. And check and make sure it goes through to the other side. Okay, so now I went ahead and scribbled over the side. I was tracing, sorry if I get this lined up right, over here. Now I'm going to flip it. And again, my arrow and my dot are in the middle. You can see what happens here when I flip it. It's going to make a whole heart. And then again, I go over my lines reflection and rotational symmetry. After you get this done, or even if you're not done, I'm going to stop you and you're going to give your, each other some feedback. You're going to go over to the same letter at the, another table. So right here, if I'm letter D, you're going to go to D at the next table and I'll tell you about that. And I'm just recycling these from when we did this before. You're going to either do I noticed I like or I would suggest. Please be kind if you're making suggestions. This is meant to be helpful. So I notice I like or I would suggest. Here are some words you can use. And you're going to use some feedback. This is to help each other. To say, like, I noticed you use symmetry in the heart. That one was really obvious. I could see that really e easily. I like, you can put something that you like about it. I would suggest. Maybe I would suggest adding more detail. Now, of course, you don't have to take your suggestions. These are just suggestions you could use for next week when you come back. Then you're going to go back to your seats. And what you're going to do before you leave is you're going to glue the CD on because you're going to let these dry for next week. So if you remember from younger grades, those of you that are here, we do dot, dot, not a lot. I'm going to go around the outside of the CD put some dots of glue. You're going to line up the middle. Just press down and then make sure your name, I should have told you before, make sure your name is on your paper, on the back of your paper or just in the corner on the front. Make sure your name is on your paper and also put the color table that you're sitting at. So if I'm, a, if I'm doing this one, my name is Mrs. Potsander. If I'm in brown fifth grade class, I put my class code. And if I'm at the orange table, I'm going to put O for orange. 